All right, let's see if we can fucking finally try and finish this goddamn game. You can thank you for the socials. Nah, I wouldn't be able to break that, probably. I know we got the key for 102. is over there. Hey, it's it's fucking what's your face? Did I scare you? Laura. Yeah, you did. I guess I deserved it, huh? The fart face that I am. Maybe. Then again, maybe you're not so bad. Just Annoying. Uh huh. So, <clears throat> you got any other things planned? I think I saw a dark room back there you could lock me up in. Mm, no. I think you've had enough for now. Well, that's reassuring. Besides, I need your help finding Mary. She's here, isn't she? Come on, tell me. I wish I knew. But... She said it in her letter. Wait. So there really is a letter? Oh. Yeah. Wanna read it? Just... Don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She's our nurse. I, uh... Took it from her locker. My dearest Laura. I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now. In a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please, give him a chance. It's true, he can be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's a really sweet person. I love you, Laura. I love you like my very own daughter. I wish things were different. I wish we could be happy together, like we talked about. Even so, I know you will have a good life. You're a strong, smart, beautiful girl. Happy eighth birthday, Laura. Your friend, Mary. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. Yeah, I mean, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. She also talked a lot about you, you know? She even. What? What is it? Well, there kind of was his other letter. I think the one was for you. The envelope had your name on it. Did you read it? I... wanted to. This one time, I almost did. Figured you didn't deserve to have it. 
But then I thought, Mary wouldn't want me to keep it from you. So I just sort of kept it for you. Here. It's empty. Laura, there's nothing in it. What? But... I didn't take it. I swear. Well, where is it then? I... I must have lost it. I gotta find it. Laura! Hey, get out of here, you little shit. Uh-huh. Can I break this? No. That upsets me. I'm not gonna be happy until there's more glass to break. Oh, there's a fucking save point. Uh, Sarah, I'm gonna break all of the glass. Hey, what do you want? Videotape, hey! Here's hoping that somebody makes a mod for this that does the, uh, the famous dancing. <gasps> Wait a minute, glass? Can I break it? Oh, let's go! What the fuck? There we go. Oh good, more more and more enemies. Hey. Was that a wise decision? Probably not, but you know, whatever, fuck it, I don't give a shit. I have like no healing items. Uh unless I Oh no, we have a singular health drink, never mind. We're stocked, chat. Oh, good. Uh. Ammo? Game? Can you open? No? Alright, thank you. It's really good when there's like drawers with, that you can open and there's like nothing in them. I don't know who the first dev was to do that, but again, also, stop it. I mean, I suppose it's fine in like Fallout or whatever. Or Oblivion or whatever. But, uh, stop doing it in fucking horror games. I don't like opening open shit. And there not being anything there. Oh good, cl crawling. Yeah, fuck your TV, dude! Oh, 
Where you at, fucko? Fuck. Apparently the enemy didn't hear that? Alright, it's fine. Yeah, cool. Saru, you love breaking glass. So they call you glass breaker Saru. No way to avoid your fate, James. Aw, uh, thank you. For making it so I don't avoid my fate cam. Although hopefully I can avoid fate stay night. Hey Greedy, do you like quick time events in combat? Because this game has plenty of them. Oh, 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 fuck. There's another legs. It's gone! Did I fucking accidentally leave hints enabled? Oh cool, we, we, we spawned from there. Cause that's also getting on my nerves whenever I die. Maybe there's no option for that. I could have sworn that it didn't do that earlier. We're getting close to the end of si ye, ye Silent Hill 2 Remake, uh, Cam. if I actually hit it. Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the this is the final area of Silent Hill 2. Uh Niku, unless they arbitrarily decide to add you know more. I mean, granted I'm still expecting padding up the ass, but hypothetically, this will be beaten tonight. Hypothetically. Fuck your TV, bro. Open up. I wonder how many of these I've actually collected out of, like, whatever, like, what the total number is. Maybe it'll say on the end. Since I do know that collecting those photographs and viewing the, the, uh, memory easter egg thingies for, uh, or whatever, actually... Cool. Uh... Unlock the new endings. Now granted, based on the way I've been trying to play the game, uh, I've been aiming for leave. Partially for consistency with, um... My recent playthrough of Yield Silent Hill 2. Also, because that's normally the ending I get whenever I play through Silent Hill 2. Uh, that's my personal canon ending. 
Because I, I don't I don't think there is a deliberate like a specific canon ending for Silent Hill 2. Uh, as far as I know, the devs have have never specified one way or the other, which is something I greatly appreciate. But for me, and just based off of the the themes of Silent Hill 2 and all that fun shit, uh, I like to personally think that Leave is the canon ending. I know there's a trophy for the fucking boat shit, so. I don't want to save over that, so I can just unlock it off stream. Granted, uh, three of the original endings are, like, New Game Plus exclusives, right? So it's not like you could really, um, get the- I couldn't get them on this playthrough anyway. Those being the, uh, Rebirth, Doge, and UFO endings. Then again, it's possible that some of these collectibles are only available on New Game Plus. I don't know. Well, I have, like, done my best sometimes to... to or not done my best, but occasionally looked up stuff for, for puzzles that I just wanted to get through. Uh, there's very little information, unsurprisingly, because the game's so brand new. And, uh, only people who have the Deluxe Edition have access to it. That are people who got some keys. And I was not one of them. No, this, uh, this entire thing was sponsored by Jeer RPG. Uh, he's the one who bought bought me the game, although Homeskillet was also threatening to buy it for me. Granted, I was going to buy it anyway, just because I, uh, was curious about it, despite my skepticism. Although I suppose just with the way things have played out in the last few months and weeks and days uh, that I might have had to have sat on it if if I bought it for myself like like wait a few days or weeks money has been very very tight Sunrise Wound... Uh, maybe that's second floor. I don't know. My thoughts on Silent Hill 2 Remake as a whole, based off of... Uh, almost 12 hours of gameplay. is that the game is not the dumpster fire I was expecting. I was expecting the game, full stop, to be a complete and utter disaster tire fire. Based on the fact that I fucking hated Blair Witch, I think the idea of remaking Silent Hill 2 is really dumb. Uh... I didn't trust Bloober Team, I don't trust Konami, I still don't trust Konami, and I still don't trust Bloober Team. Uh, but still. Um... And I saw the Silent Hill 2 remake as a very cynical... cynical decision. Because if you were going to start remaking Silent Hill games, even though I think, ultimately, 
you shouldn't, and you should just make new ones, and you should just come, like, stick all the old ones in port compilations and put them on modern hardware, but, you know, whatever. You would start with the first Silent Hill game. Like, again, Capcom started remaking Resident Evil games with the first Resident Evil, right? Granted, they started their recent remake trend with RE2, but that's besides the point. Uh, so yeah, it's not a complete tire fire dumpster fire. That said, ultimately, it is inferior for me to the original Silent Hill 2 in just about every possible way. Uh, the, a lot of the unsettling aspects of it, the oppressive atmosphere, and the dreamlike aspects of the cinematics are all, all gone for me. Um, the game ultimately feels bloated and padded because they've, they've elongated sections to make the game longer for some reason. Um, combat is really, really, really frustrating and janky and unpolished. It doesn't feel janky in the sense like Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, and to some extent 4, where uh, it felt more like a deliberate choice because you were playing as as an every man or an every every woman, right? Who didn't know how to uh, do combat. Instead, it felt more. This feels justifiably so, like a studio who's never done combat before, <coughs> trying and failing. Or not entirely failing, but partially failing at making a combat engine. I feel that almost all of the voice acting is inferior to the original game and is completely flat. The only actor, the only voice that's kind of grown on me is is James Sunderland's. Everyone sounds too professional, but also too flat. Facial animations are are vastly inferior to the original game. OST is fine, but it's just like the OST from the original Silent Hill 2, you know? Um, there are some things, credit where credit is due, that the game does right, and some of which are even new things that it does right. Again, like the, uh, the Angelus scene that, uh... I, I think it was, uh, this morning? Or, or maybe at the start of the stream? No, it was this morning. Uh, that I thought was was really well done, really well handled. Uh, even though I think Angela's character model looks off and I don't like her voice, I think Bloober has done a really good job of handling Angela. Which is important, because she is a very difficult character to get right, and they could easily fuck her up. And, uh, you know, the, the stuff behind her character is very, very touchy, very, very sensitive. Some heavy shit. Eddie, they've completely fucked up, I think. Uh. The famous, how can you sit there and eat pizza scene is just the worst now. And it almost feels like they're fat gaming Eddie in that scene. There is one nice touch to it, uh, as, I, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, where James makes just a casual comment about, you know, it's good to see that you got your appetite back. And uh, based on the delivery and the character of James, I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it other than just, hey, you know, you're not vomiting anymore. But Eddie took it as an insult based off of his weight and personality and whatnot and his history and his trauma, and I think that's solid. Um... I think that's mostly everything. Ultimately, I would say that, for me, the game is about as good as Homecoming and Downpour. Probably, I probably like it more than Origins. 
Uh, again, I haven't played Downpour in, in, in over a decade, so maybe if I were to replay it at some point, I would hate it more. Or maybe I would like it more. I don't know. Uh, I'd either have to look into emulation or finally get a Series X again. But that's not going to be any fucking time soon. Because Downpour is not on fucking PC. But on recent memory, I like it more than Origins. Uh, and at least in terms of new Silent Hill, like, better games. Uh... Do you see that? Okay. It's better than fucking, uh, the short message. But the, 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 this is part of what I mean with the combat system. It's like, I'm here and I'm trying to break this goddamn window. And then James decides to auto-target this dead body and try to club it. And that ha that's happened so many goddamn times, and that's that's part of what I mean by by the shit is very sloppy. And it's exceptionally frustrating in like when there's actual enemies and you're trying to prioritize one. And James is just like, "LOL, I'm going to attack this other one instead." It's really annoying. And I hate it. It's stupid and it's dumb. So that's, that's the other thing, too. Uh, there's way too much fucking combat in this game. Uh, maybe I would feel differently if the combat felt, you know, fun and polished. But it doesn't feel polished. So, combat is just really, really tilting for me. But I'm clearly in the minority since almost everybody and their cat uh, seems to really, really dig this game. And I'm happy for them. I'm genuinely happy for them. And I, and I hope it does well. I hope it gets patches to clean some shit up. Because despite my skepticism, it's not like I was fucking wanting this game to fail. Right? I don't want games to fail. Even if I think they're bad on paper. Or look like shit. You know? But I also just hope that this doesn't mean that we're going to get an endless stream of fucking remakes of Silent Hill games. Uh, ultimately, as I think I've, I've already said before, I probably would be a lot more lenient and forgiving to this game if this was an original Silent Hill title. If this was not remaking Silent Hill 2, I could probably be a lot more lenient with it. Uh, we don't know. We literally haven't heard anything about it. It could be dead. It, it might not be dead. Who, who the fuck knows? If I had to guess, they're not saying anything, so they don't completely overshadow or whatever the, 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 or have the information get lost in the shuffle due to the release of Silent Hill 2, but that's also part of the reason why I think it was really dumb of Konami to announce three separate fucking Silent Hill games at once. Uh, then again, I'm, I'm also of the mentality that if your game is not six months to a year away from release, don't fucking announce shit. Because I'm tired of stuff getting announced, and then it's like, LOL, it's not coming out for six years. Like, I don't care. A lot can happen in six years. I could be dead in six years. The planet could explode in six years. The studio that's developing it could go under within six years. Konami could go bankrupt in six years. Like, there's all sorts of shit that could happen. Stop announcing shit way too fucking early. It's silly. 20 years ago, when there was no goddamn internet? Sure, I get it. You had to, you had to, you had to get your shit in a goddamn magazine. I understand it. Hey, can you ban- yeah, hey, thanks, Niku. 
That's a new fucking... That's a new spam bot. <laughs> fucking shot bot over there, Jesus. Wanna see me naked? Bitch, I don't even know what you look like. I don't even know you. The fuck is this shit? This horny ass fucking butt. Get out of here. What is this fucking aim from 2005? Fucking sex bots up the ass, dude. What is this shit? Yeah, and I still don't understand why this is a, this is a full mechanic. Nintendo has gotten a little better about that, Niku, but they still fuck up from time to time. Like, uh, LOL, here's, here's, we're, we're doing, uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, and they announced that shit four years before it fucking comes out. I was like, fuck off with that stuff, stop it. The whole industry needs to stop this shit. It's upsetting. Get some help. Yeah, I think- I, I mean, I probably have a lot more thoughts on Silent Hill 2 Remake, but... I don't know. I do... I have no, you know, I don't know what the new endings are yet, so I'm curious about those. But that's probably gonna require me replaying the game with a guide. Wait a minute. I am a smart boy. Although I'm mad that I had to waste a fucking bullet for it. Um... That said... I- I was mildly curious... about how they were gonna handle the Silent Hill 2's UFO ending. And I looked it up... They did, yeah. They added two endings that weren't in the OG. Uh, I looked up how the UFO ending is handled in this game. And... Credit where credit is due... I like it. Uh, it's not a- it, it's not the exact same UFO ending you remember. Where did that come from? Is it previous? No. So it would be outside. It would be around here. <clears throat> I don't want to say it because it's, you know, a fucking ending. Maybe I'll do it on stream at some point. Uh, I'm not gonna- especially because of the fucking length of this goddamn game, and there's so much other shit on my plate. And other stuff that's currently in progress. Uh, this is probably gonna be the only- the, the only playthrough of the remake for Back to Ghoul. I say probably because I removed Layers of Fear 2016 from Back to Ghoul, uh, from the wheel. Uh, because, um, I hated, uh, Layers of Fear 2023 so fucking much that I never want to do anything with the Layers of Fear franchise ever goddamn again. Uh, so maybe I'll have a second playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake where we go for, like, the UFO ending. Uh. As a wheel. And, you know what, maybe I'll add the Doge ending as well. Because I do know one thing about the Doge ending, uh, that I actually quite like. Again, credit where credit is due, there are some smart and or fun decisions... ...made, uh, for this remake. It's not a complete dumpster fire. Despite... ...all my bitching. And there's a lot of bitching. Oh, interesting. Okay. We have a book puzzle now, huh? Revelations. Persona? Or Resident Evil? The one who's sword. 
Bird, lion, man, boar, dude. Surface level, yeah, it looks good. The one whose sword is either bottom left or bottom right, probably. Pride might be in refer reference to the lion. Yeah, we'll stick that there. Oh, it has stuff on the side. Wasn't paying attention. There we go. Interesting. Oh, maybe it has to... Maybe it has to be mirrored. No. Lion bowl. Well, the V thing is upside down. I can't interact with the V thing. Bull, angel, lion, bird. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't know what I did, but sure. <clears throat> I mean, that is also one thing, as you know, Jack pointed out as well, that, that one thing we can, uh, like most people can agree on, is Bloober makes some visually impressive games. Even if, uh... The gameplay is, uh, not all that great. Oh, I know what this is. It's probably- we gotta get a new black light. They want me to get a new black light. I don't want to get a new black light. It's probably where the can opener is used. Uh oh. What room are we in? No, it's something different. All right, whatever. We'll figure it out. We gotta come back here. Unless I can brute force it. Uh, help. Help. Yeah, yeah, we gotta... We use the can... We find a can, use the can opener on it, get a light bulb, come back here. Got it. Help! You are a MILF, Niku. I'll stop crying. If you're gonna keep crying, you should bury your head in a pillow. Hey! Get away from me. What the fuck was that slide? Whatever. Milf Niku!
Milkers in disguise. Locked. Oh, cool, he's floating in midair. And I, I, I can't remember if I said it, uh, Niku. Uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake is also buggy. Very buggy. There have been multiple times in normal combat where I've accidentally somehow gotten inside collision. And there's also one instance where my camera got locked facing the ground. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't move it. I mean, it, it already would have had a day one patch, Niku. At this point, I mean, th like, look, they can claim all they want that, oh, the release date is October the 8th. The release date was Saturday the 5th. <laughs> so it's already day one. It also probably had a day zero patch for reviewers as well. Like, if you want to let players play early, that's fine, but stop, you know, like, like, you know, if they spend the extra money, that's fine. But stop acting as though it's like, the, the devs need to stop, publishers need to stop acting as though it's like, either early access, or, uh, not, not the release date. Because it is the release date. Oh, and it's incidentally, for those watching the VOD late, or for those who don't know, the actual, like, like, normal, for, for the normal edition or whatever, that unlocks in, uh, a half an hour. From right now. Interesting. That, I, what the fuck? Why is there an X there, and then another X here? I'm... Oh, whatever. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the sweetest of them all? Peel away the shiny skin, see the rotting flesh within. Okay. And Grady would like this. I don't know if she's still here. Because Grady likes these rotating puzzles, doesn't she? Oh, there's a piece of glass missing. Because, of course... Yeah, there we go. Well, we're missing a piece of glass. So we'll fuck up this TV. Oh, there it is. Blooper, that's not... Stop that. 
You stop that right now. You fucking, you fucking mix stop that right McFucking now. Just fucking have all the glass on the floor. For fuck's sake, guys. Don't put it in, in the adjacent room. That's fucking the laziest goddamn shit. All right, well, I don't have a crystal orb. There's nothing on the bed. Uh, nope, that's not a wall we can break. All right, so we got to come back here. Fucking doing this bullshit. I have a feeling, though, you know, if Niku were to ask it, ask the mirror, it'd be like, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the thickest of them all? Because we have 107, I believe. Oh, good! You're alive! I don't think you're new. Were you just playing dead this whole time, you fucking cheeky cunt? Although the one thing I'm getting, uh, really annoyed with, uh... It's not necessarily the game, but some of the people who were excited for this game. Uh, cause there's this subset of people who are acting like smug assholes just because critics happen to like this game. Like, I saw this one... Let me see if I can fi uh, find it real quick. Uh, where somebody drafted a fucking... An apology form that you were supposed to fill out. And it's like, my, my guy, you are a, uh, you are a dumb motherfucker. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. It's, this is like the, this, the cringiest goddamn shit I have ever fucking seen. Fill out the form. Silent Hill 2 apology form. To Bloober Team. From date. Reason for behavior. I repeated a YouTuber's opinion. I have been brain damaged to feed on negativity. I just wanted to fit in. I only saw general layers of fear clip. I hereby respect Bloober Team's ability to grow and judge Silent Hill 2 on its own merits when it comes out. I have an idea. How about, uh... Layers of Fear and the Medium and Blair Witch fucking sucked and there's no reason to trust Konami? So that's why people were critical? Or what about the option of the initial trailers look like fucking dog shit? Like again, if, if, if you were looking forward to the game, I'm happy for you. Especially if you like it, right? That's good. I'm glad. Stop being a smug piece of shit about it though. Jesus Christ. Like, good God. And allegedly, there was also some equal cringe on the, the, the anti-Silent Hill 2 uh, brigade, where allegedly uh, there was a bunch of Wikipedia edits to, to adjust the critical reception. It's like, that's just as cringe. Fucking cut this shit out. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. We're all adults here. Stop acting like fucking cringy, stupid assholes. <clears throat> That's not gonna happen because it's fucking goddamn the internet. And our species is dumb and fucking toxic and fucking stupid and dumb and stupid and dumb and stupid. Oh no. Also, where's the option for, uh, I was skeptical about Silent Hill 2 Remake, but tried to go in with an open mind, and I still fucking didn't like it despite it getting good reviews. You sons of bitches. Are you dead? I don't know if you're actually dead. Uh, you better be dead now. Oh, good. 
Excuse me. Fuck. Huh? You run away from me. It's cute, it thinks it can run. I mean, you could do that in ye old Silent Hill too, as well, home skillet. You could stomp and uh, smack dead, smack bodies all goddamn day long in the original Silent Hill too. You. It's just also everything is super spongy in this fucking game. So it's good to make sure it's dead. Also, seemingly the stomp attack might be the most powerful, like more powerful than your actual fucking melee weapon. It's bizarre. Ow. Uh, usually, yes. <coughs> you tell a lot quicker. I think. But also I find the, uh, uh, the noises and animation, uh, just how visceral it is to be kind of amusing. It makes James look like a bigger psychopath. So even if I could tell it was dead, I probably would stomp endlessly, like an asshole. I don't know if I'm hitting. As I said, after finishing this, I, I kind of want to do something to decompress. So I might... I, I gotta look into that. It's gonna be something that I haven't... Uh, that is not currently in progress, even though we have a fair bit, bit of stuff that's in progress. D janky and unpolished. That's, that's how the gunplay is, Skillet. It's janky and unpolished. It's serviceable. But there's plenty of times where I think a shot... Really? You see, I stopped this motherfucker quite a bit, and he apparently wasn't McFucking dead. Uh, where I fired point-blank range, and it seemingly misses. Uh, and it's really annoying. Where am I? 107. Where's the fireplace? Is it upstairs? I don't remember. <sighs> Previous map. Upstairs map. Benny mirror bookshelf. Third floor. Left side. I mean that's that's another thing too, uh as as I've said many, many times, uh, you know. Especially on games that I don't like, uh Ultimately, the only the only real deciding factor uh, on whether or not you will like a game or or any piece of media is uh, your own personal tastes and what 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 you know your own preferences and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, if you were remotely curious about the game, uh, go buy it if you have the money, or wait for you know a sale or whatever. Uh, or, you know, watch gameplay footage and decide for yourself if you think it's worth your time. Plus, I seemingly, <coughs> as I, as I re pointed out, I think it was yesterday or last night, maybe it was this morning, I don't know, time is a flat circle. I'm seemingly a, a more recent, uh, uh, fucking hipster contrarian, considering the fact that I did not like Final Fantasy VII Remake or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh... And I thought Resident Evil 4 Remake wasn't all that hot. Uh, and I don't like- I, I, I think this is pretty mid. 
Oh no! So you know. God damn it! Make your own decision. It would be nice if they had a demo. Oh. I don't remember having to fight this here. Oh, good. But I could be wrong. Probably a standard enemy here as opposed to what is seemingly a boss. Can you please drink the health drink? This scream attack is so fucking annoying. question I haven't asked I haven't done this yet okay good. you can oh never mind you can't yeah I don't like that one bit stop just let me use the fucking healing item from goddamn an inventory please having a quick shortcut is fine I'm fine with that you know like a, a quick key to, to heal while without having to go into inventory. Uh, but making it so my only option is to use it in actual gameplay is something I don't like because that means the healing animation can be completely interrupted and I can get killed. But yeah, if you, if you think it looks good, uh, home skillet, then, you know, pick it up. Get it on, uh, get it on Steam or, or PS5. See, we're valving it. Oh, then they remove the vault. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. I do wish there was a demo so people could actually, like, you know, play it for themselves. play a demo for themselves. Also, I wish they wouldn't, uh, you know, just immediately tell you. What items you have to combine. They don't. And I know why. The reason why is because making a demo is a big, giant fucking pain in the ass. And it does and can take resources away from the main game. So I understand it. However, having a demo is ideal and is a super pro-consumer move. Now granted, it is entirely possible to, to, to play a demo and like the demo and then the full game comes out and then you hate the game. That's happened to me plenty of times.
Or it's also entirely possible to play a bad a demo. Oh. And, uh... Play a demo, and not like the demo, and then you play the full game, and you like the full game. But, you know, what are you gonna do? I just think it is a super- Oh, hey! Cool, I love getting knocked out of item animations, that's cool. The demos I hate the most working on are fucking stage demos, because they're literally- there's like no point to them. Outside of just, we have to show off the game at like E3 or PSX or Gamescom or whatever. And it's just this giant fucking smoke and mirrors, bu mirrors bullshit, you know? Oh, fuck you! Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Alright, I don't know where else I need to go, but I'm gonna go on a BRB. Alright. Uh. Vanity mirror. Oh, there's... No, I can't use the bolt cutters in the padlock, apparently. What's the vanity mirror? Oh, this fucking thing. Hey, thanks. Did I already go in here? <sighs> yes. That said, I still am, uh, semi-hopeful about Townfall and, uh, F, even though we haven't heard dick about them. And as far as I'm concerned, they barely exist, if it even exists at all. Maybe the only thing we need, because I'm... I keep thinking back to how Silent Hill 1 does its... Uh, Silent Hill 2 does its puzzles. And... I'm like, oh, we have that Cinderella figure. So we need, like, two more figures. But maybe we actually don't need two more figures. Maybe we just need one. No, we need, we need all three. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck you! I mean, I can't put it down. Fuck you! Oh, maybe the padlock's used, uh, bolt cutter's used outside. Yeah, here we go. We've done it. We've saved the city. Hey, we have a light bulb. Good. Uh huh.
There we go. Now we have a red light bulb. We have done it. We have become one with the city. Did I go over here? Alright, so now we could do that fucking vanity mirror bullshit. Uh, why was there a stinger? Like, oh my god, so menacing. Deed done. Now, are they going to keep the weight limit thing? I would assume so. Uh, and that was, uh, that's gonna suck. Because the combat sucks. But we'll see. Trying to evade enemies sucks. It's over here. Hey, save. Yup, there we go. Really? You just okay, sure. This makes it more immersive to have to place things manually. I am so immersed having to place everything manually. Oh no. Oh, and they, it's 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 the fucking stupid annoying enemy that can stun me with a stupid fucking uh noise thingy. Johnny one hot guy. Okay. See ya. Uh oh. See ya. Don't give a fuck, Holmes. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ, another fucking goddamn new puzzle. So many squeeze throws. At least they don't do that bullshit from Silent Hill 2, where it's, it's too dark to read the map! Oh good. That's a fucking die! Gemstone my nuts. <clears throat> Nothing. Okay. I would like to see if I can, like, get the fuck out and get my shit. Because I'd rather not be down here. 
Well, what those fuck? I think that I think that enemy's the flesh lips. I don't remember. I don't know if they can get me in here. See you. Uh, no. Goodbye. Oh, good. I love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this again. Oh, good. Hi. Hello. All right. Uh, I can't open the map without running the risk of getting my butt raped. Ripped. Nope. 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 nope, 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 nope. Exclamation point. Doors locked. So there's something in here. But we have no way to defend ourselves. I don't think they can go through the squeeze through. But I don't remember. This seems to be the main par for the course, though, with this, uh, with this remake, is take a section or concept from the original and just elongate it up the goddamn ass. Some, I've seen some people say that they don't see it as padding because it's just exploration, but it's like the original also had exploration. And it wasn't this goddamn long. But again, if an increased length doesn't bother somebody, I guess that's fine, you know? Everybody has different tastes, different opinions. Uh, wash off the new sheets, huh? Was is there nothing in here? Oh, order new sheets. Okay. Well, I don't see anything to pick up. Maybe we have all... Yeah, we've been in every room. So, it's just presumably gem box. And if I had to guess, it gets us the key to get the fuck out of here. Maybe. Among something else. I will say I, again. I think the 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 cursor highlight is really weak, like kind of unnoticeable, at least for me anyway. I'm not crazy, right? Hey, there we go. Seven four one four. And I do like how all the controls are mostly customizable, even though I already ran into some bugs with that. Don't mind me! I hope you can't get me in here, otherwise I'm going to be very upset. Basement key and the videotape.
I guess you could say I am too pro. Okay, that answers that question. It can get me in here. If it wants. That's funny. And also silly. Oh good, it's more- oh no, we were on the first floor, that's right, oh good. No, it does not. It doesn't- it also doesn't pause when you're- you're opening the map, you can only heal in gameplay. Doesn't pause when you're interacting with items. It's very silly. Oh good. Hey, flesh lips. Like, even fucking... Resident Evil. Pauses when you're fucking goddamn viewing the map. And Resident Evil also lets you use uh, healing items from the uh, inventory. It's very stupid. It's. I'm assuming it's the devs trying to be like immersive and like clever or whatever. Like, ooh, look. You know, we don't. You don't have to, uh, you know, enter. You know, like, you can do this from outside of a menu. Uh, but for me, uh, it's really goddamn annoying. Uh, because I, uh, you know, want to not get killed when I'm looking at a map. Or when I'm trying to solve a puzzle. Uh, and I want to be able to, like, heal without, you know, getting molested. Venus bar key. Okay. There's a lot of design decisions that I'm just not terribly fond of. Home skillet. <laughs> That's dumb. Just keep it in my inventory. What the fuck was that? What hit me? Steam from the wall hit me? Yeah, see, Helm Skillet, if I tr it, it, like, if I try to use a thing, it just cuts the gameplay. And it's like, come on, guy. Stop that. But also, as I've said, I've gotten, like, stuck multiple times, too. Uh... In, like, collision. It's really bad. Uh, and then also the one time where the camera got stuck like that, and I had to navigate my way to a, uh window to jump through in order to fix it because I tried backing out into a door uh, and the door seemingly wasn't opening because I wasn't interacting with the door from the front I wonder if that's something I need I had to leave my fucking map with it. Fuck off. Since when? That's dumb. That's real dumb. That's big, stupid dumb. You didn't have to do that in the original.
Yeah, we need to see a cinematic. You can't just interact and go, hey, all your shit's back. This is, this is the AAA budget on the loose. The things game devs prioritize these days. Oh, I mean, home skill at almost everybody. Again, I'm, I'm, I am in the minority here. Most people are seemingly very content with this remake. Most people seemingly really like it. But me, as a, as a, as someone who adores the original Silent Hill 2. Who adores the era of Team Silent Silent Hill. Who adores gamey ass games and kind of hates the state of modern AAA. I think the game is mid. There's so much for me about Silent Hill 2 that cannot be easily replicated. So much of what made Silent Hill 2 special stemmed from the people who who worked on it, like the original game, and the circumstances of its creation, the hardware limitations. Oh. Okay. And so on and so forth and so on and so forth. Why is this... Oh, it's because it's counting as a separate map. That's why. That's dumb. Uh, we did the safe... Okay, I think we got everything in there, so I don't think we actually have to come back here. Hypothetically. So it can't be easily replicated. It can't be... Recreated. No, absolutely they can't, because the, the only way to legally play the original Silent Hill 2 right now is through the HD collection, which is the worst way to play si the original Silent Hill 2. And even then, only the 360 version is playable on modern hardware. You can only play the 360 version because that's backwards compatible. PS3 version, you're shit out of luck. And it does it it doesn't help the fact that the 360 version uh unless they patched it since is the worst of the two versions, right? The idea like if if someone is anti-emulation or anti-abandonware, their 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 only viable option is uh Is that? That's it. What else is there? We need one more figurine. All right, we use the apple, presume. Okay, I think I get it. And the franchise has been dormant for fucking forever. The only other Silent Hill game on modern hardware is the short message, and it's not very good. And also plays nothing like this. Um, the only other Silent Hill game that is r rel the only other two Silent Hill games that are readily easily accessible are uh, Homecoming on Steam. It might also be available on Xbox Live. I don't remember. And... Silent Hill 4 on GOG. There's no proper preservation of, of any of the other Silent Hill games. Which is criminal. It's absolutely fucking criminal. But even then, a lot of people don't necessarily think of, of the stuff that I'm thinking of, homeschooling. 
When they, uh... Okay, so what the fuck did that do? Oh, next room. Okay. Because some people hear the voice acting in ye old Silent Hill 2 and think of it as bad. And sure, by conventional standards, it's bad, but... From an artistic standpoint, I think it works out really, really, really well. It makes the game all the more unsettling and interesting. Some people see the combat in ye old Silent Hill 2 as bad. And yeah, sure, by conventional standards, it's... it's... Uh, uh, oh, hey, we transported to th this one, okay. Uh, by conventional standards, it's not... ...clean. It's pretty janky, you know? But I think ultimately it's fine. Especially for what the game is trying to do as a horror game. Oh my god, there's yet another piece to this puzzle. I think it's stuck there. What the fuck is happening? I don't understand this at all. Okay, hold on. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, 
Yeah, and you know, it's 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 it, yeah. I I don't like that either because also that kind of devalues art, right? Uh, like by that logic, why watch bad uh, old movies? You know. <clears throat> and I disagree with it completely. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, one. It's very silly. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, one. So it's clearly not one. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One. There we go. Oh boy, stretch. I mean, again, not everything is to everybody's liking. That's fine, right? If you think a game is too dated to play, that's fine. Uh, it's depressing, but whatever. It's like why people can't necessarily play Fixed camera angle tank controlled horror games like Ye Old Resident Evil. It's depressing, but you know, what are you gonna do? But I just think there are some games that you can't really remake without losing a lot of what made it special for me personally. And then there's some games where, in this era of video games, I, I think you shouldn't remake it. Because, uh, you'd wind up cutting shit. And, uh... That's a bad idea. Like Resident Evil 4. Oh boy, okay. So... If you've never played Silent Hill 2 before, and you don't want the big reveal, this is your chance to dip. I am going to mute my mic now. Are you taping again? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Promise you'll take me again, James. <coughs> <coughs>
you are? Do you know where Mary is? Come on, talk to me. Mary's gone. She's dead. Liar. That's a lie. No. It's the truth. She... She died because she was sick. waiting for you. Why? Why? I'm sorry. Mary, you know, isn't here. Mary? Oh boy! This is going to be interesting, especially given my ammo situation. Unless they give me a fuck ton of ammo. I'm, I'm still really happy with, with that mod, although also at the same time Twitch for whatever reason won't let me clip that fucking scene. It's very dumb. <laughs> I do not understand it. Maybe Twitch thinks... It's too sexual. Seeing... A fully clothed man twerking. Thank <laughs> you. 
<sighs> oh, at least we're getting some health. And so that whole scene of Mary's death just really didn't have any impact. And again, the facial animations just are not very good in this game. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping we'd get to do more fucking cart pushing. I love it. I'm so fucking thrilled. Is there a question mark there? Uh, I know, I know why there's a question mark there. It's because fucking this is a, this is an actual fucking stupid puzzle that they're making me do. By puzzle, I, is the word puzzle in this case is in gigantic, 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 sarcastic quotes. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna fall through as well. Okay, never mind, that's locked. All right, we can do it. You, if you're here, order me a pizza and burger. Oh good, we have to jump multiple times again. Just freaking out behind me. Snorting and rolling around. Now yawning. He has a very squeaky yawn. Yeah, he's lying on his back. Being a goofy. A goofy goober. Hey, you know what would be nice, game? If you gave me like a whole bunch of shotgun and rifle ammo. Because I kind of need it for what's coming up. It's not gonna do that. Okay. Oh no! Not the wall.
Should be getting Angela's final scene soon, too. I'm curious how that's going to be handled. And again, to be to be perfectly fair, uh, well, again, I don't like her her character design in this her redesign, uh, and I think her voice actress falls flat. Uh, I I will say that Bluebird has been handling Angela quite well. I was very worried at how they would handle her, so we'll see if they stick the landing. goddamn enemies. Just have this be a slow... trek to the final boss. That's what I would do. Damn, the bots are out in force tonight, man. Although we've only had one slut bot. I'm kinda disappointed. Niku, we need to find more horny slutty bots. Oh good! Two rifle rounds. See what I mean though? Camera's just Camera's just sitting there and it just fucking shakes. Doesn't know what the fuck to do. Slutty bots are in your area. Act now. You can call me Fister Roboto. Alright, I think this is it. Muting mic. you hadn't even mama said it I deserve what happened no Angela that is not true don't pity me I'm not worth it or maybe you think you can save me Will 
you love me? Care for me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought. James. Give me back the knife. No, I won't. Saving it for yourself. Have it your way. It doesn't change anything. See it too. For me, it's always like this. Okay. You played Silent Hill too, right? Before Niku? The original? Good. Yeah, it, it, it really isn't. Most of the voice acting for me has fallen flat, although I have go uh, I've grown accustomed to James's voice. I think James's voice is okay. It still is a little too professional sounding for my liking, but it's better than Troy Baker. Uh, let's see if we can get through this bullshit unmolested, because I need as much ammo as I can. Of course, we have fucking more enemies. There we go. The, the, the facial animation, though, is, is what really kind of throws me in for a loop. It, it really kind of sucks the emotion out of most of the scenes. Like, James kind of looks just bored or unfazed by just about everything.
I know what you are. I know why I needed you. But it's all over now. I don't need you anymore. Oh, good. Ow. Oh, they're throwing it now, huh? That's new. Thanks. One more boss. Morning, bot. Uh, and in 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 answer to your question, horny bot. Uh, the answer is no. Just like the other horny bot, because I don't know who you are, and you're probably some like, I don't know, fat dude from Nebraska. I want to see somebody naked. I'll just look at porn. I don't want any damn flowers. 
Just go home already. Look at me. I'm disgusting. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. It'd be easier if they just killed me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off of me. Why are you still here? I told you to go. Are you dead? Don't come back. James. Wait. Please. Don't go. Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not gonna die. Thank God. Oh my God, how generous. And actually 10 pistol bullets. A full fucking clip. <clears throat> oh my God. Proper amounts of ammo right before the final boss, oh my god. Rochi, you love bots. That's why they call you Botman Rochi. Botman Rochi, he's a hero. He's gonna take pollution down to zero. Okay, oh boy, final boss time. And then ending in credits. What the fuck are you doing? Stop stop causing ruckus. Uh hold hold that thought, Mary. Or Maria. Oh uh, first one. I wanna see if there's ammo. Yeah, we'll do until dawn tomorrow. I have missed you so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. We can finally be together. Forever. No. James. Honey. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! 
What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? <laughs> I am so sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time to let it go. So we definitely got lever and water. For a second there, I thought, wait, are we getting the Maria ending? No. I'm pretty sure it's going to be leave. What? I won't let you do this to me. I won't let you go. No. I can't! I love screeching attacks. They're so good. Okay. I didn't even realize that I was close to death. Sure guys. Sure would be nice to be able to heal in a menu. Of course they're doing they're doing a fucking second phase. Yeah, why not? Come the fuck on, Bluebird. What the fuck is this shit? Can't, can't just, can't just have it be normal Mary fight. Gotta fucking add this stupid spider robot Mary, I guess. What the fuck this shit is? What do you want me to do? How am I even supposed to hit her? Like, how do, how, do, how do I get back to the boss arena? Am I supposed to attack these moths? Is that it? 
That's dumb. Oh, there you are. I just gotta wait for her to pop her ugly ass down, I guess. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it, Bluber. Phase now too. Unless that's the end of the fight. No, it third phase now. Okay, yeah, sure. Can you please get out of your jams? I'm never playing this on normal ever again. <laughs> this game thinks it's RE. Uh, 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 Miku. You know how many phases Mary had? Mary Maria had in, uh,. Silent Hill 2? Original? 1. Can we please? Can we please? Please? I'm out of healing. <laughs> Fucking finally, please. Stop. Just end the fight. God damn it, they couldn't even fucking do the final boss right. 
The final boss is not supposed to be a fucking goddamn big goddamn epic final fight. James. Shut the fuck up. That's true. Then why do you look so sad? Mary. It's okay, James. Here. It's what you've been looking for. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. Told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. 
I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. That's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know. I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this. I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well. This letter has gone on too long. So, I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon. So that you remember me for who I was. And not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live for yourself and for others, like you did for me. James, you made me happy. Yeah, I didn't like the rating of the letter. Do I really hear my low... Unless this is part of the song, do I really hear my low heartbeat health during the credits? That seems like a really big, bad bug. Yeah, this is a hundred percent. My low health heartbeat. What a fucking stupid ass fucking bug. Yeah, we just finished it, Solstra.
Um, this this is this is a textbook definition of a five out of ten, with five being mid slash average, not like a failing grade. If I were to use some sort of a numerical value score for me. I'll do a fucking stupid uh, tier list thing, maybe, maybe, maybe sometime this week. This is the dumbest goddamn bug. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody else is loving it though, Soul Straw. So keep that in mind. I'm apparently just a dirty contrarian hipster. <laughs> that or just everybody wants Silent Hill to be an action game like Resident Evil. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I, I might platinum it off stream, or I'll add uh, the UFO and Doge ending to, to my wheel, if that ever, you know, if we get enough subs for that, but, uh, uh, I got too much other spooky horror games to get through. I did hear that, um... The entire original team silent is credited in this, which is nice. Yeah, here we go. Puzzles are different now. Yeah, the puzzles are different. It's it some puzzles are somewhat similar to the original, but they're they're mostly completely different. Oh boy. Three hundred and fifty five enemies. And I killed most of everything. No ranking, I guess. New game plus additional items, graphics modes, and endings. Yay. All right, that's going to do it for me for now. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow probably with Until Dawn. Um... In the meantime, I'm going to send you all on over to Leas, who's doing Dead by Daylight. Uh, you all take care of yourselves, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and I will catch you all in the next stream. Uh, Greedy, again, thank you for the raid, too. Uh, Y'all take care. Have a good night. Goodbye. Uh, yeah.